We all know that working in a restaurant is hard. You have to be constantly moving, always standing up, running plates back and forth between the crowded dining hall and the kitchen. But we wanted to know exactly how much more physical activity you get working in a kitchen versus working in an office. So we went out and found a res. He's a runner at Toro, New York at night. And during the day, he works as an attorney in an office. I actually grew up working in restaurants. I started, whenever you, I turned 14 is when I started. And then I waited tables all through the end of high school, college, law school. But when I took my first legal job and was working only nine to six, I really missed being you know, in a restaurant, in a kitchen, interacting with 50 different people on any given day. So I went back to, uh, to work at a restaurant a little bit. We measured him with a Microsoft band during one full day at both the law firm and the restaurant. And here's what we found out. Arez goes to work at nine in the morning and works at the law firm until 6 p.m. During his nine hours at the office, he walked 3,410 steps, which is roughly two miles. He burned 899 calories. His peak heart rate is at 91 with an average heart rate of 70. Then he's off to Turo, New York, where he works as a food runner. He arrives at 6 p.m. A few hours in, his heart rate spikes because the restaurant is at its busiest. His walk from the kitchen to the dining room is almost an entire city block. He walked 18,239 steps, which equals out to about nine miles. Arez burned more than 800 calories during one shift, with the most being burned between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. when the restaurant is busy. The band also measures galvanic skin response, which is the measurement of the electrical resistance of the skin caused by emotional stress. The lower the number of the GSR, the more stressed the person is. Arez's galvanic skin response decreases starting at 6 p.m. when his shift starts and continues to decrease throughout the night and reaches zero by the end of the shift. In comparison to working in an office, he walked five times more steps, which is seven more miles, 20 times more stairs, significantly higher heart rate throughout for both peak and average heart rate, and he burned 1.5 times more calories per hour. Well, the lesson of the day is, if you want to stay in shape, don't be a lawyer. Thank you guys. Hopefully I won't end up an internet meme and unemployable as a lawyer in, in, in New York. Today in the US, there are about 500 culinary schools, heavily located around California and Florida. This is a chart that shows you how much a culinary education costs. Yeah, culinary schools are very expensive. Even with student loans, grants, and scholarships, it's about double the amount of a public university. So this is where it gets controversial. How much money would students make once graduating and working in a real job? 